Hey everybody, April from Left Hook Creations. Um, I'm gonna be doing a flip cup today on an eight by 10 using these new paints I got. These are um, Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paint. And I did a test run yesterday and it didn't work out very well. And I think that, um, I think that I didn't really like agitate these paints too much after I bought them and they were a little too watery and they mixed a whole lot and I wasn't very happy so I'm gonna want to do it another run today um, so you can see my mess from yesterday plus I added my own black in and I think that that just didn't do what I needed it to do so I have a deep yellow that I'm gonna use today um, I have violet, which turned out so horribly dark. So I'm going to try to not use, um, as much of this as I did yesterday. And then I also have aqua green. So I'm going to try to use more green and yellow than this violet color. And we'll see how this turns out. Um, for this size canvas, I probably only need four to five ounces of paint. So we'll see if I overestimate. This cup holds five ounces. So I'm going to not fill it all the way up. but come really close to it. So if I have to add more paint, I can do that. Um, so we're gonna place this here and flip it over. I'm gonna let that sit for a second and hopefully that will all do something good in there so when I flip this cup over and pour all the paint out, it should be cool, I hope. Um, <clears throat> At least I'm, I'm really, really, really hoping. So I'm hoping that without adding black to it, it won't come out as dark because this this painting I did was like, it's very, very dark. You can't even tell there's purple in there. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. I was also getting a weird effect on the edges that I didn't like. So I'm hoping not to get that this time. That's really cool looking. Okay. I may also, like, I saw somebody use these paints and add some silicone to it, and it seemed to get some really cool results. So I may end up doing that, too. The stuff comes out kind of transparent, and I don't know that I like it as see-through as it gets. It just kind of muddies a little like this is so this would be cool if it were a portion of the painting but because it's like the whole thing it it just doesn't thrill me yeah I'm not I don't know about this paint I don't know that I like it I mean, it doesn't, it just doesn't seem to coat very well and it seems to be very, 
transparent so you can see like all the stuff underneath it which is interesting but not on the entire painting if it were just parts that would be cool um, and this like it just does it seems to fall off the edges and you can see the canvas through so let me bring you down here for a close-up and I'll show you what I'm talking about see how it's lighter here on the edges I don't like it I don't like that <laughs> but you can see like the layers of paint um, underneath the other colors so that part's kind of cool but as an overall I'm not entirely sure that I like it I don't know and I tried a puddle pour on top of my original pour yesterday too and it didn't seem to really um, help <laughs> it came out very dark so like this purple I'm afraid is gonna dry super super dark which if it dried just like this this would be nice you know so i guess we'll see when it dries if it's better but i don't know that it will be anyway if anybody's had experience with these um with these artist loft ready mix pouring paints and has any tips or tricks for me please 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 put them in the comments and i will try them out um yeah as someone who's still learning this craft, I am open to all suggestions. But um, anyway, there's my painting. Thanks for watching and see you next time.